Hi, I'm Sasha. As well as enjoying all the fancy desserts I make, sometimes I just crave for something simple like vanilla ice cream, but it needs something to pep it up a little bit. So here is my regular caramel that I've made, and this one is my salted caramel. Really, really easy to make and absolutely delicious over things like ice cream. So even for the more complicated of the two, that's the salted caramel, you still only need four ingredients. So that's 250 milliliters of double cream, 25 grams of butter, 300 grams of white granulated sugar, or if you wanted to make a lighter color caramel, you could substitute this with demerara sugar. And finally, for the salted caramel, you'll need two pinches of coarse sea salt, Grab yourself a medium saucepan and possibly a grown-up because you're going to be dealing with molten sugar here. I haven't got a grown-up so I'm going to crack on and just hope for the best. So pop all of your sugar into the saucepan over a medium heat. We're going to melt this. of this totally reminds me of the fairground as a child. Once all the sugar's dissolved and it's turned a nice golden colour, it's time to shut the heat off. Now this next bit can be a bit lively, so this is where you need your grown-up. You're going to add in your two pinches of salt, one, two, and then half of the cream, and this is going to bubble up quite furiously now. has settled down, it's time to add in the rest of the cream and also your butter. And keep mixing that until everything's well combined. And that's it, your caramel's made. It's time now to pour it into a heat-proof jar that's been sterilised. Now I've just put my beautiful dark caramel next to one I made the other day. This one here I did with demerara sugar and no salt. Personally I find it really weird that a darker sugar comes out lighter when you make it into caramel, but hey, that's just the way it seems to be. As this cools it will thicken up, but you could just carry on and use it now. This is great to use over waffles, pancakes, toast, ice cream, the list is really endless, or you can actually use it in various recipes. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up and come back for seconds.